Hi, welcome to my infomercial on the Indian Ocean. So for today, I'm gonna to take you along to the top 10 islands. Now there is 1,208 islands in the Indian Ocean, but we're not gonna do all of them. We're just gonna do the top 10 to go to. Whoa, <laughs> looks like this is the Maldives Island. So it's a small state in South Asia. It has about 1,200 small coral islands and sand bakes. And it's actually really hot out here. So let's go to the next island. Whoa, this is cool. There's a lot of nature stuff. All right, this is the Maritius Island, and it has a bunch of beaches, lagoons, and reefs. And in the middle is mountains. Look over there, y'all. It's so crazy. And so they have a Black River Gorges National Park with hiking trails and wildlife like the flying fox. Flying fox. Oh, gotta watch out. Let's go to the next island. Whoa, we must be in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is called the Pearl of the Indian Ocean because its shape and size, and it's known for its historical records going back way back when. Next up, Seychelles. Whoa, this one's pretty cool. All right, it's in East Africa, and it has nature reserves and rare animals like the alabot tortoises. Whoa, look at one. That's so cool. All right, let's get a log reunion. Whew. All right. <gasps> Whoa, there's a ginormous volcano. Look, apparently you can climb it too. And in the middle of it is a whole rainforest. That is so cool. All right, let's continue our journey. Woo. All right, we are in the Adjaman Islands. This is kind of cool. They have late Jurassic sedimentary rocks like this. All right, this is cool. We're in the Lake Sheep Islands, and they have 36 coral reefs. I would love to go scuba diving here. Scuba diving was more fun, but now we're in the land of the reddish brown eagle, also known as the Long Kiwa Islands. Let's go to Zanzibar. Oh, wow. Zanzibar is part of an old trading center. Let's go discover things in the Indian Ocean. In the Indian Ocean, we have the Java Trench, a Y-shaped mid-Indian ridge, and 90-degree east ridge, which is 4,800 kilometers long, and the Kagos Lakative Plateau. And then the ocean itself goes down to 12,762 feet. That's really deep. Like, gosh. There are two major currents in the Indian Ocean. South Equatorial Current and the West Australian Current. In December of 2004, um, there was an ocean earthquake. It was off the west coast of Indonesia and had a magnitude of 9.1 and 9.3. That underwater earthquake set off the 2004 Indian Ocean Tsunami, also known as the Christmas or Boxing Day Tsunami. The quake caused the ocean floor to suddenly rise as much as by 40 meters, causing a giant tsunami. Waves are co caused mostly by wind. The gravitational pull of the sun and moon on Earth also causes waves. It's time to learn about marine ocean life and the levels of sea. So the mesoplastic zone is 500 to 3,280 feet below the sea surface. The bathoplastic zone is 3,280 feet to 13,000 feet below sea surface. The other subplastic zone is from 13,000 to 2,000 feet um, below sea surface, and the hydal zone is 20,000 to 35,000 feet below sea surface. Beth oaks are sea animals that live on the sea floor. Most of the animals don't have a backbone, so they are called invertebrates. These include sea anemones, sponges, corals, sea stars, sea urchins, worms, bivalves, crabs, and many more. The Indian Ocean has a lot of endangered marine animals, the dugong seals, turtles, and whales. So phytoplankton are a type of food and they are very much needed in the ocean ecosystem. They're basically like little little plants slash organisms and they just kind of float around in the ocean and the phytoplankton they help regulate the atmosphere and like every single 
ocean animal by absorbing carbon dioxide. And so deep sea animals, like way near the bottom, do not have an easy time getting food. So the tiny little phytoplankton are there and that's what they eat. So that was my infomercial. I hope the ocean, Indian Ocean is the one picking to get invested.